And we are out of here. It's a bit of a shame there's, um, wait, what are we, wait, what? Oh, give sent. Yeah, sure. It's a bit of a shame there's no, um, no one to upgrade our, uh, Expaton, but it makes sense why. They, they wouldn't be able to do it on par with Neuron, I guess. But definitely one of the draws of this chapter is it's cool that there's like this mini little hub world in the, right in the center of it. Okay. Let's look around for this Douglas. This looks like a job for your Beast Legion. Let's give it a good whiff of that case Kyle gave us and see where it leads us. Actually, we gotta stop tracking for one sec. Oh yeah, I happen to find it. <laughs> yeah, I happen to find it. Is even outside Sweet. Of, combat, isn't it? of course, it can't actually smell, per se. What it actually does is extract a sample of DNA from residual sweat or other organic matter and cross-reference it with location data from the nearest match in the police database and... Okay, yeah, I get it. Now is not the time. Yes, thank you for um, re reading the room. Right, so I thought of, I forgot about something last time. It's right here. So, there's a chest over in the corner. And in typical Dark Souls fashion, the pursuer will appear behind us. No, no, not the case. The pursuer's fucking awesome, though. Wish he had to come back and do a three. However, we have a different friend. I believe it's going to happen as we either open the chest or approach it. Yeah. There you are, you fuck. That's a that's a no dice. That's a no cell. Gotcha, you bastard. Thanks for the roll, buddy. Ooh, that's a good one. Yeah, so last time I was totally unprepared for him, and he fucking bolted hard, the son of a bitch. But we got him this time. I think you have to do you have to do these in combat, from memory. I can't just spam him here. They definitely know the best moves though. Crash bomb is really good for him. We get the axe legion, but you can manually input it, so that tends to be what I do. Plus, having him um, having him go on a rampage with hit rush is pretty handy. This right here is going to be godlike when we get to there. But that's still two chapters away. Excavator? Neat. And something else, huh? Slime splatter. So we have another color slot when we get back home. You guys won't see that till next file, though. I'm sure it'll be a nice chill one. I'm sure. See, those jokes don't work because I know the game well. And you Iris, guys do down. too, most likely. Iris, uh, either that or you've just watched like the videos and you don't have full context for the game itself, but Iris, whatever. Let's like animation cancel it. We did Oh, yes, no, there's the cat food. Hey, Akira, remember to bring lots of cat food for Morgana or Sophus or whatever you want to call her. Do I know her in any other games? What's her name again? Is, why do I think it's like Cassandra Lee Morris? Why do I think I know the name? That feels super fucking wrong. Oh, we're on the trail. No, it's just the one inside, which we can't go back to anyway. So that's why you go do it nice and early. There we go. Thank you for the goods. Thank you for this for this meal. Just one more time. Yep, cool, nothing. Alright, let's head on down. Oh boy, I got to this point last time and I was like, man, we're actually really close, it's only another hour. And then I realized, oh no, it turned into an hour and a half. Yep, sure, take it. That's not what I wanted, but go for it. I'd like to be able to give you a pat again. Money? That looks like a friend. Couple of ways you can do this. 
can shoot it, but Information display. Yeah, Iris thanks, Sephira. I appreciate it. <laughs> Why do that when you can cool burst? This is over the top. All I gotta do is this. Yeah, that was very over the top. I just had to slash him. And the roof coming down like that startled the hell out of me. Okay, Kyle. Gone all weak in the knees. Okay. I, 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 I get it. I mean, obviously this drone doesn't have it. Yes. Radio. Oh Christ. There we go. Wait a minute, can we? Haha. <laughs> That's really dumb, that's awesome. Gonna start taking more photos while I can. Hey buddy, nice to see you again. You got a friend, huh? I remember you. Yes, yes I have. Yeah, he's uh, kind of human. Well, the camera's being super finicky here. I'm fortunate, but I'm not alone. I have found a friend. She was broken, but I repaired her. She cannot speak, yet she is my friend. Oh, she cannot speak well yet, my bad. But she is my friend. Bzz, bzz, system error detected. Detected. Con contact maintenance number found on back of unit. Beep, beep. Whatever. Kind of... This is super fucking dumb. Um, she's trying. She's trying. Oh, you don't. You don't have to. Cheers, man. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah, that can. Uh, that can be the case. Oh, feeling envy. Uh, well, as long as you guys don't go full on become as gods. We'll be fine. Catch you later. See you in file 8. And then file 10. Really easy to miss that guy. I know I said that back in, uh, back in file 3. And yeah, obviously, I don't remember the names of the files too well. I know this is complicit. I've actually started learning them again due to the fact I have to put them in the titles, but... Righto, so we can't actually show up for cool shit, but that is totally the spot right above us. You can make a chain jump from over there, if you hook the Legion up there. I'll try to give a demo of it anyway, but... Meanwhile, over here. If you angle it just correctly, I'm not going to go for it because I'm going to fuck it up. If you get it just right and have the icon just on it, you can totally land on the invisible wall. It's not really important or anything, but it's neat. There's no point to it, I don't think you can do anything cool from there, but... One thing to note, though... Now you can't really see... Okay, you can see the, uh... You can see past the sign just here. I believe that shows up on the map. Kinda, at least. And when you shoot it, it does demonstrate it has a collision. I mean, that was a sign, because some of these buildings... No collision, as you can see. So I'm assuming it's intentional. Because just like Harmony Square earlier... Um, there's this little bit down here. Um, it's on the map, so I assume there's a reason for it. And there's this whole back section here. And I don't know any circumstances you can get there. Oh, look, there's a ladder here as well. And here and here. I guess they just put them in just in case they'd use them for something. But there's nothing in File 12, 12 that actually utilizes them. So, it's kind of weird. I don't quite understand. And I'd love to be able to get there just for the sake of it. I like doing that shit in games. Like whether it's Half-Life or it's something like this. Getting out of bounds is quite fun sometimes. We better find him quick. We'll find him, don't worry. We're gonna go we are gonna go out of our way to not 
head to his destination as soon as, soon as possible. Services down here. And you know, it's quite appropriate, um, quite appropriate to have all this Metal Gear Solid talk, even though it's more just rising in general. I feel safe in the box. Get in the box, cuz. Uh, I think I've played maybe an hour of um, MGS3. Um, I, got a, I bought the PS2 copy a couple of years ago. But that, that's when I figured out our PS2 is at the point where it wants to murder discs. So it and Okami have not been played a lot. Same with Persona 4. First aberrations, now Chimeras. You know what that means. There's probably a gate nearby. But first things first, take down that Chimera before it hurts somebody. Hey buddy, you wanna come play? Aha, I counted. Ain't shit. Get him, friends. Okay, that was weird. That kind of just changed. Anyway. Now let's go sort through this. Ooh, we got a super shallow um, backflip there. That worked out really well, actually. Okay, Lice has got to be down like half a key already or something. You're really doing this? That's cute, mate. That's cute. I can feel it any second now. There we go. Funny how years ago, like, it blew my mind people playing stuff like, um, Dark Souls and all that without, without like, the, you know, the meters or anything. But it's funny, I can play Astral Chain no problem without that stuff. Would not like to play Dark Souls though, because that game's a little more sensitive, because you have no indicator to when you're about to die. Yeah, so unfortunately there's no way... Unless we got something. Let's have a quick look. Unless we actually managed to dig up something. We only have the one chain boost. And we only have that one that was core lock, right? Which one was that under again? Energy? Yeah, so... No dice. Yeah, we can't, we can't get one of our legions up to four slots, I think. Maybe... Wait, can we? No, nah, it's going to cost too much. I don't think we can even conceive of doing that right now. I should probably save the codes because I'm not going that far yet. I would like to upgrade some of you guys a little more though. What would be cool? I do want the Aura Aura more than, um, than the Uppercut. And I would like the Launcher more with Beast Legion. So that's 500. Let's, let's go for this. And then we'll go for the Aura Aura, I think. Yes, we'll go for it. Okay, sweet. Aha. Uh -huh. I should probably focus on actually getting, like, the damage upgrades. I am doing my best not to level up, level up off screen, but there might come a point it might be worth it. I just don't want to power level. Well, since we've got it. Back forward. There it is. That's the launcher. And it's the same for most of the other legions. And there it is. The gate to the astral plane. And bad news, Douglas's scent trail leads right into it. Well, here we go. Not yet. Just give me a sec. Alright, let's show this off real quick. So. Over here. Invisible wall. You cannot get across to that little landing point there. What you can do is hook the legion under that, which we can show off. It's the part after that we can't do quite yet. So see, we can hook under here. The problem is, if we had a little more length, we could get the arrow legion to that landing point, because if we walk too far, it despawns. And, you know, it goes back to us. So, yeah, unfortunately, no dice. Wish we could, but, um, I should probably change this up. This isn't incredibly useful right now. What actually be, what would be handy right now? Crit isn't really important. I'd go cooldown, but I'd like something different. You know what? Fortitude's pretty handy, actually. What's something worthwhile? 
anything with effect spread is really good. Um, unfortunately, effect spread doesn't work how you how you'd hope. Where um oh by the way this is fucking godlike. Where is it? Um oh no I'm misremembering. Last time I had one that was at like a hundred percent. Maybe it's like a secondary effect. Um effect spread only applies when you don't have the legion out on you. You still have to have it with you though. Um as in you can't have effect spread and have it have it go to every other legion in your crew. That'd be too good to be fair. That's pretty handy. I'll I'll keep that in mind. That'd be good though, I'll definitely go for that. Because having the extra distance is very, very useful. Alright, so... Well, sorry, we should go up here real quick. So, we'll be coming back here for an optional boss in a little bit. I don't think yeah, I, yeah, I know, I know. So, we can't progress, but over there... is a really cool boss. And down there... If you can do what I've demonstrated... What's a video? It's the fucking, it's the demo of the remastered version of this theme that I'm going to make after this is all posted. Um, if you can get up there, you can do that and just straight up backflip over it. There's a couple of other ways. I think Axe Legion can do it too. There's a couple of um, sync attacks that will get you over, no prob. But that's the most efficient way. That's the simplest way. But eventually you can skip to Veritat earlier, it doesn't really help. Going over there doesn't trigger a fight early, nor does it really yield anything of worth. Um, there's an invisible wall up in that area. Oh, sorry, there's a... We can't Iris progress any started. further. Iris, but I've had a weird thing where I was about either there or just through the wall over there. And I got the uh, Arrow, Arrow Legion round here. And I managed to just fly through the fucking wall. Change jump straight through the wall. It was super bloody weird. Alright, boring stuff over. Let's get to the fight. I just wanted to do that in, like, you know, circumstances where I could actually talk. Because I really don't want to have to do another full-on caption video. The one time I did that properly was back when Neuron was swallowed up by a void. And, yeah, I don't feel like doing that nowadays. Save a line. You gonna say it? Al? I'm picking up a bio signal. It might be Douglas. Give it a look with your iris. So if it's not super apparent already, these platforms appear while we have a legion out. If we don't, we'll just stand it. But if we just stand here with one, I'm pretty sure we're okay. Yes we are. Let's not waste any more gauge. You know, until we have to run and change jump. So this is over here. If we had the meters, we could get over. But we don't, sadly. We will get a couple of Jinkos soon, though. There we go, to there. Yeah, um, I've said it before, I'm pretty sure. I said it last time, or well, on my first run through of this. Now let's take the same way. And I'm pretty sure I've said it previously in this, uh, in this playthrough. I'm not entirely sure if they could make chain jumping less clunky, because that's one of the things I think they could improve upon. But, with how the game's control now, I don't really know off the top of my head if there's a better way they can do it. Because you still really need to be able to have this level, this level of control. Yeah, so that just takes us back up here. And this is the vendor of it's still all coughing and spluttering. Gives us lappy specials and all that. Yeah, you still need to have all this control. Oh, that's right. There's one over here, isn't it? Oh. That's it. Aha. I remembered this one. Not from last time, just because I remembered it was round. That's the second one, right? Let's not bother checking. It's not worth it. I just waste your time and my time. Yeah, I don't really know if there's a way to consolidate and make it more like easier to use because platinum's platforming has never been astounding it's never been the best but i thought devastation i said it when i played devastation but i think it works pretty well in that game and it kind of has to be given you have to have the mobility of a fucking vehicle to begin with when you're playing a transformers game but i find it works pretty well in that context oh that was really easy wasn't it oh that was getting a little trippy right there yeah, I don't know what it was, but I just find it really easy to get around in that game. 
even doing like the big jumps in the crowd stuff. Particularly as Bumblebee. I've had a lot of practice doing that. For that Insecticon video and various other reasons. Um, but yeah, like... Uh, what's a good example? Rising platforming's pretty okay. Mostly due to the fact you have Ninja Run. This is pretty alright. I don't know if there's a way to make it any faster. But, you know, it's... At least it's not like the cold... What, what is it? How do you term this? Like the cinematic traversal? Um, what, what's it? I know um, DMC Devil May Cry is a good example of that, where you have the grapple points. And I know DMC 4 and 5 have that too. But what was it? 5? Uh, sorry, a 5. What am I saying? DMC definitely has that... Um, has those little points you just latch onto. And it looks super cool and interesting, but it's not really very intensive. You're not really actually, do you're not actually doing anything. Um, I don't know, I know Tomb Raider, the new Tomb Raiders kind of do that too. I think that's what, what pop made it super popular, but I could be wrong there. This music's really fucking sick, by the way. That's what I used for the first part of the Chimera Takedown video. It's that into the cutscene where, um, where, um, you lose control of your friend, the Sword Legion. I think this is working out quite well. Crowd Control Requiem Act 1, huh? It's only going to get stronger over time. And it'll become Act 5 by the time I go fight the, you know, the President of the United States. Uh, beautiful. People won't get that, like, you know, unless they've actually read JoJo Part 7. Or played the various games that have spoiled that shit. Damn straight, that's got to be an S+. Holy shit, that's a lot of points. Alright, let's grab this. This is going pretty quickly, actually. <clears throat> Excuse me. So, I don't know what the deal is. I'm pretty sure that blue aura we can see is a chest on the wall there. How you get to it, I don't know, and it drove me nuts when I was doing my practice playthrough, and it drove me nuts when I was here last time. Recording. Ah, shit. Yeah, no, I'm going back for it. Sorry. Sorry, not sorry. I want all the red mander I can get. Oh, one sec, sorry. I should I should be paying attention. Oh, 318, okay, cool. I need 78. Wait, no, what am I saying? 82. 318. Well, don't know why that candidate is crushing it. It should have just pushed it, but okay. Neat. Sorry, 318, right? Yeah. Okay, I was I was thinking it was something else. That was super weird, though. Park, park. Anything else? Looking cool. If we had the extension, we could jump right over. Make that super easy. Okay, do that. this platform to jump on so we shall we'll come back down in a sec there's some more red matter to grab and whatever now this is going to be a little weird but I, I gotta fill the time anyway so i might as well say it now so yeah that bayo 3 trailer was really sick wasn't it honestly i've got to be like one of those weirdos that when i saw it well you know this this isn't the weird part i was like oh shit it's a dog it's project gg no, it's not. Wait. And then someone pointed out there was a, there was a wonderful 101 uh, sign, sign front and center. So that's where my mind should have gone to. And then I saw the soldiers and thought, potentially vanquish? Um, but then when I saw Lappy, I knew it wasn't going to be Astral Change due, due to the art style and all that. And I actually thought we were going to get like an Anarchy Reign successor, like a Platinum All-Stars. 
I still think that'd be like the sickest thing ever. Because Anarchy Reigns, I know, has a lot of problems. It's got some infinites and it's kind of janky and all that. Not that I'd know from experience, just from what I've read. But, um... It's definitely one of those games that was like a generation too early. Because it w I doubt it would have the success of something like Fortnite or anything. Oh, hold on one sec. This guy's being adorable. No, you don't. Um, but, you know, could definitely fit into the mold of a Battle Royale type game. Just on a smaller scale. That chest should be down here. And Platinum's got enough characters now, you could easily whack a... Like, you know, you, you could have an extensive roster by this point. There's two Sands at least. There's Jetstream and Sam Gideon from Vanquish. You can have Lappy, I guess, if you want. The Cat from Metal Gear Rising. Raiden. Blade Wolf, you know, as long as them and Sam, you know, are, are allowed to come play. But who knows with Konami nowadays. And, and Jack, of course. Psychomaniac with the chainsaw. And of course, I don't need to say, say Bayo, because like that's pretty obvious to begin with. But yeah, Platinum's got a big enough roster. Oh, we're four points off. Maybe it's that, because that's the area it correlates to. Uh, it's going to be like that chest, those two fucking chests I saw uh, when I was going over the uh, File 5 footage. Boy, that was my proudest moment. Running past two blatantly obvious chests that I fucking missed because I'm a clever guy. On that section, right before I did the cut between episodes. Alright, come on. No dice, huh? I often forget about this, by the way, this thing here. So what I normally do is something very different. Um, where I just brute force this section and just run it, because it's totally doable. It's hard, but you can totally pull it off. And I don't think you can be fast enough to get back on, on there. Yeah, so there's nothing there, so I imagine it's just a lighting thing or it's because of the chest. Maybe it's like Cool Burst, and the lighting is higher than, you, than it should be. Do we have enough yet? No, of course not. <laughs> Nothing changed. I was thinking the 96 might have been before those guys, but now what am I saying? Uh-huh. So there's this section over here. So normally I just run around, and because I've got the chain length, you can totally brute force it. Not the intended way. Actually, hold on. I feel like I'm overlooking something incredibly important here. No, it is two. Sweet. I was thinking it might have been three, but that's five meters um, for the full extension. We can't shoot those from over here. I was just wondering, wondering if we might have been able to do that. Oh, damn it. I shouldn't have hesitated. So what you meant to do is, yeah, get up on that. I was a clever lad. And forgot that's how you're meant to do it on every subsequent playthrough. Or, re you know, running through the level again. But sometimes the timing isn't the best on this, and you can rise, you can get up just as it's moving away in an awkward position. All that happens. That, that too. Now, I don't think there's anything over here, but let's just double check. I don't want to be forgetting something a second time around. Well, this is, this is great. This is quality footage right here. Let's just have a quick look. Maybe there's something I'm completely, completely overlooking. Nope, does not appear to be. No, I think we're good. All is good in the frame rate dimension. So this is just kind of like a shortcut. Chest there, wall cut. We will be able to get some gene code in about 15 seconds. Something like that. Again, I find this way easier to do in this game. I, you know, I'd be interested to know if people prefer the method of using, of having to hold a, you know, a button and using the left stick instead and then having to press um, a trigger or just having, the, you know, flicking the stick like in Rising. There we go. Oh no you don't, you fuck. Yeah. 
Yeah, of course. You guys right? I don't. I think you're drunk. I don't know what's going on there. Gotcha. Oh, that's cool how we can see the lines. Beautiful. Now let's just spin around and take care of the business behind us. Okay, it's four of us. Neat. I thought you were going to do the roar. Damn it. Now, I'm pretty sure there's nothing down here. There's just this chest. I've looked extensively in this area, and I'm positive there's nothing, but it's always good to quadruple check. Nothing wrong with that. <laughs> Made it. That was weird, we couldn't uh, dismiss the Legion for a sec. That is not what I wanted. I want a beast. I admire your, your uh, determination, Bo. Um, I appreciate it. Righto, boss fight coming up. I mean, technically, mini boss. It depends on how you look at it. Rank specialist. We'll be specialist plus by the end of this. Right on the cusp of it, we're pretty close at the end of chapter five, of file five. And, um, we'll get pretty close after I went back and, uh, yeah, you get money for just going back into the ARI, and I kind of have to replay the first mission to change from male to female, so, yeah. Look, over there. I see him. Can't help but get a little bit of XP, so to speak. They should just have the sex change coffin like in Dark Souls 2. That's the most efficient way of doing it. So that be our friend over there, Douglas. Oh yeah, that's great. But that's the good stuff right there. <gasps> Who would have thought? Get him, boy. You'll have to go through these guys to get to Douglas. Oh, that's easy. Don't worry. Playbook's got it right. Alright, let's go for it. The ultra combo. No survivors. Take this. Oh, damn it. I fucked up the sink attack somehow. Haha, no you don't. I should have gone for the actual, like, you know, the limb. That was pretty alright too. Any second now? Any second now? There we go. Gotcha. Single punch is all required. Hey buddy. Ah. I want to go for a big old rocket launcher. I love that move so much. Alright, here he is. Mini Armstrong. Worth it. We weren't gonna make it in time anyway. Get rush. Ramble it. So hopefully he'll, he'll do the moves this time, because last time he wasn't so forthcoming. So right there, we can see the start of the no selling. Because he just went through that animation anyway. We're gonna back up for one sec. Speed start. Get on the Beast Legion. Let's go for another bind. Actually, I think that's the first one. Grab bullet from the rear. This is good so far. I like this. Good energy from the team. See, it's from this chapter on. I think this game really succeeds in its com like in its combat. I'm not saying like it's underwhelming to begin with. But like, I'm doing, a, like I said, I'm doing a mini version of what I do in my bits. I'm just constantly swapping between everyone. That's really fun. I have the old reliables, obviously, combo-wise. But I do try to use that when I can. 
Ah, oh, damn it. I was going to use that to get out of dodge as opposed to go for it. Okay, so he hasn't done either. He hasn't done the body explosion or the, um, or the charge. I kind of hope he can show him off. Okay, here we go. So this right here, even down to the ring, is very reminiscent of Armstrong and at least Sam's DLC. Um, I don't, can't remember if it has it in the base game, but I know it does because it seems to be a footage of it. I think he's gone to the charge. Yep, there he is. So this, surprisingly doesn't count as when you can, um, yeah, bounce him back on, which is kind of weird. He's going to no-sell that because we've, we've bound him a few too many times. So you've seen both moves now, so I can try to end this. And make him sound like, oh yeah, no, I've just been laming at this fight. But he's got a decent amount of health. Oh really, I thought I had both. Oh well. Oh boy, this is not a good place to be in right now. I tried to no-sell it again, huh? I gotta get out of here. Oh, cool slow mo. Alright, let's get back going while we recover a bit of stuff. Let's call him in. Oh, okay. Don't know who you're going after. Maybe my hit rushing Legion. That's nice. I didn't get that last time. I ended up killing him too fast. Just like Chimera Takedown. That's got to be an S plus, yeah? Mwah. Perfect. Oh, hell yeah! Now go get Douglas. I'm pretty proud of it too. Oh, where'd Drone go? Last time I got a photo of you two together. Was, I totally adore it. levels are safe too all right let's get him back to the ark what's wrong jeremiah it's not fair my brother joseph has a sin to confess i wish i had one too oh don't you see you do have a sin to confess the sin of envy 